The Indie Evo has been a huge step forwards in our industry and appeals to a younger generation of rider who really doesn't have all that many options. Now today we're going to be installing the Evolution Kit on our Evo and it's from Polaris and takes this mid-size 550 all the way up to a full speed 550 Indy. The Evolution Kit is an impressive upgrade for your Indy Evo and it's pretty cool because your junior sled head and the family can ride the Evo as it comes for many years of fun but when they get big enough or skilled enough to need the benefits of better performance, better suspension, and a larger full-speed sled, there's no need to trade in your Evo. Rather, just buy this all-encompassing kit, bolt it on, and voila, you've got yourself a full-size Indy 550, all for the very attractive price of $14.99 US or $19.34.99 Canadian. Now the Evolution Kit isn't your afternoon project. It requires a lot of taking this sled apart. So if you're not handy, don't attempt this one at home. Take it to your dealership. And even if you are handy, it's gonna require some serious time and a bunch of specialty tools. We start up front and completely remove the stock front end. I'm talking everything. Shocks, springs, skis, both upper and lower A-arms, and the tie rods and spindles. So pretty much the only thing that we're saving here is the ski hoops. This, in my opinion, is the easiest part of the swap and really doesn't require all that much skill, time, or effort. Now, reassembly can be a little bit trickier, and well, I guess in truth, it's not necessarily the assembly part that's trickier, it's the fact that we're replacing the tie rods, so that means that we're gonna have to do a front end alignment. But the rest of the parts are just a basic swap back into place. Nothing too terribly hard here, taking the front end travel from 4.1 inches to a trail taming 7.1 inches as well as widening the front end of the sled from the stock Evo 44 inch to 48 inches outside width. In other words, we have updated the front end of this sled to a full 550 Indy spec, including the RideFX MPV shocks and springs. Now, while we're on the topic of suspension, the next big update is the rear skid, and this is gonna require you to get your hands just a little bit dirtier, because now we gotta pull the entire rear skid right out of the tunnel. Once the rear skid is out, we can go ahead and take it nearly completely apart and replace the shocks, springs both coil and torsion, as well as the limiter strap to allow the rear skid to move further. The stock rear suspension travel on the Evo is a respectable 9.1 inches, but when you do the evolution update, you increase that by over 50% more. One of the coolest parts about the Evo is that Polaris built it with the evolution kit in mind. And by that I mean that, yes, you do have to change shock, springs, and limiter straps, but you don't have to touch the rails or the torque arms. That's pretty smart. The torque arms are long enough from the factory to allow for the increase in travel of 13.9 inches that this kit provides. Part of allowing this increase is a new limiter strap that now allows the arms to travel much further. While there are a few pieces to be swapped out back, the hardest part of the change is just getting the skid lined up and back into the tunnel. Once you're installed, you'll notice a significant increase in ride height that now matches the front end. Those 4.8 inches of extra travel also increase the overall height of the Evo from 41 inches to now 48 inches, giving it the same full-size look as a 550 Indy. Now under the hood, there's a few key changes that need to be made to realize the full potential of this 550 motor and get all the power that you would from a 550 Indy. Switching out the throttle flipper is one of the keys to getting all that power out of the 550 fan-cooled motor, but the CDI box is another big part that allows the Evolution Kit to get all of the power, altering rev limits, timing, and all things related to spark. Seeing as this isn't an EFI motor, it can't just use a simple ECU flash, it needs a complete CDI replacement. Good thing it's not hard to get at it, and it's plug and play for install. And with that, the Evo went from being limited to 5 8 throttle to now wide open throttle. The Evolution Kit comes with a full set of gears. Along with the throttle that we just changed out, the CDI box, as well as clutching, you're gonna get all that available horsepower, which means all that power to the ground and the top speed, just like the 550 Indy. Now, if you haven't done gearing before, it can seem like a daunting task, but really it's not all that hard. Just make sure you do it with a cold pipe and a good oil catcher. And it's nice on the Evo because we don't have to take off the pipe at all, but we will need to get rid of the battery, battery tray, and the disc brake setup running off a spline stub sticking through the chain case cover. With this stuff out of the way, drain out the oil, then remove the cover. Once inside, it's mainly just remembering where everything went, so take pictures before you remove everything, and then simply back off the tensioner, unbolt the lower gear, and it all comes sliding off. Swap out your stock gears and simply retrace your steps to get it back together. And finally, never, ever, ever, ever forget to put fresh oil back in the chain case. I know that seems obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people are gonna forget this step. 
Now the final step is gonna be done one of two ways and this all depends on the tools that you have available to you. And for this kit, I'm talking about clutching. The Evolution kit needs to have some parts removed from the stock clutches in the way of shims and then also two new springs installed in both the primary and secondary. Because of the need for a few specialty Polaris tools, we recommend you get your dealer to do this portion of the update. They have the tools and you won't need them again, so there's no reason to buy them. And with that, there's simply nothing else to do except for the obvious. Which of course is to go ride. Now besides the fact that you have a slightly smaller seat as well as a slightly smaller gas tank, everything else on this sled is full power, full suspension, full performance. And when you compare this to an Indy 121, including the price of the Evolution kit, you're actually a thousand bucks better off. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.